Okay, welcome back. It's me again, Bobby. Well, as you know, uh, on my last video, we did an update on Android Beta 5. And right now, uh, sad to say, there's still no stable update, but we got Android Beta 6. So, as you can see, I already have downloaded the update. I'll put the link in the description for those who's coming uh, from Android 9 to Beta 6. Just download the Mega app and download the update for those who's coming from Beta 5 and jumping to Beta 6. Just download the second file in my description, then rename both files downstairs. And as you can see on Android 10 Beta 6, we have improved system stability again, improved accessory stability, and fixed Bluetooth connectivity issue. On my Beta 5, I didn't experience that much Bluetooth connectivity issue. I only had it once out ever since I uploaded my last video. Only had it once. Uh, it was disconnecting, but after I restarted my phone, it was back to normal. And all you have to do, just uh, as soon as you download it, it will be on your uh, file manager. And as usual, it will be on your downloads folder. So just open that. And as you can see, I downloaded it twice. So sometimes when you download it twice, you will see a... Uh, number one at the end and I will have to delete the other one because as you can see it's only 8.55 MB that was an error file the actual file is 159 MB in length so just uh, long press it click the more and then rename and then long press again and paste you'll have uh, user.zip.zip so just take out the dot zip there to make it just one dot zip okay and as soon as you rename the file long press again click move to and click internal storage okay so as you can see in my internal storage the file is already here you can delete the old one the new file will be .55 uh, the old one will be .41 so right after you update your phone from either a beta software or a stable software you can already delete all the old files to save on space on your phone this will help you clear up some storage on your phone because we don't have uh, memory cards on our phone so right after doing that as usual just restart your phone and I'll be back as soon as I restart my phone all right see you in a while okay we're back and as you can see uh, my device has just restarted and you can see that uh, system update file detected so as usual just click on that and it will select the system update file automatically and click OK now all we have to do is wait for the system update to finish uh, the final build uh, or the stable update of Android 10 will be available maybe first week or uh, mid-February. Uh, hopefully this will be the stable build. So it's not too far that not too far away. So let's just wait for it until it finished. As you can see it's already 56%. So let me know what other issues you're having with your beta updates on your phone and I'll try to help you guys as best as I can. Uh, I'm having a hard time uh, trying to, to chat you with all of you at the same time but I do my best and I, I'm sure that I got in about 9 five percent of all the comments or at least a hundred percent of all the comments I tried to answer it so thank you so much uh, guys for uh, continuing to subscribing to my channel and giving a thumbs up on my channel 
Uh, this is very helpful for me and I hope I could still continue helping you guys out with your Asus ROG Phone 2. Even though we get the Android Beta 10 stable update, I'll still be making videos on tips and tricks and other updates which will be which will be coming out on our phone. So as you can see, system update is successful. Please restart your device. So I'll be restarting my device again now and I'll be back to you as soon as possible. Alright, see you in a while. Okay, so as you can see, system update was successful. And on my settings page, if you go to system and about phone, you can see that I'm at 1912.50. That's the Android Beta 6. So, uh, for those people who is coming from uh, let's say beta 2 or beta 3 that want to go to beta 6 you have to update it one by one so if you have beta 1 you have to update to beta 2 and 3 and so forth and so forth until you reach beta 6 I'll be putting in description links for beta 1 all the way to beta 3 or 4 because I think I already uploaded the uh, beta 5 and beta 6 on my video so still as fluid as ever as you can see still very fast I have as usual as I was telling you before I went to developer options and I set my window animation scale at 0.5 and everything at 0.5 transition scale 0.5 duration scale 0.5 this will make your phone more responsive and as you can see it's very responsive uh, very fluid and I still have no complaints so far using this uh, beta versions everything is fast I still you can still oh, you know uh, use that white button underneath to sw switch to apps so no problem here oops <laughs> so anyway uh, that's it for this video uh, I hope you give it a thumbs up uh, continue to like and subscribe and share my videos to your friends to help me out guys uh, thank you so much, and I hope I did a big help to all of you. Until next time, until my next video, this is Bobby Pratt's. Alright, see you soon. Bye, guys.